Yo, what's the deal, everybody? It's the Wolf of Breeders. I just got done with my next book, Mind Hacking by Sir John Hargrave. Now, this book right here is about how to change your mind for good for 21 days. It literally goes step by step each day. Mate, this is a fantastic book right here. And it's about um, overcoming addictions, conquering fear, fixing your relationship, improve your career, and finding happiness. Um, Pretty much this book goes into like um, uh, computer hacking. And it talks about that in the beginning of the book and it explains why hackers do what they do and how they do it, they, where they code, where they hack into, into computer systems. And then later on, not even later on, like literally like the next chapter, it goes into how we learn or how we can learn to hack our own brain. And one thing I did like about this book is on 1.3, it says developing a Jedi-like concentration. Yo, and I don't even have to go into that. Y'all already know what they, if y'all watch Star Wars, y'all already know how deep they go in their meditation, but that's what they, that's what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because you, once we master the mind, we master everything. You know what I'm saying? That, that just shows everything. And I thought that was pretty cool. And it says right here, um, you are not your mind. Say, this is the message I want to shout out from the rooftops, he said. You are not your mind. Close your eyes and think about your own mind for just one moment. <clears throat> the fact that you can observe your mind and think about it objectively shows that there is a mind and there is also an observer of the mind. And he pretty much stated like how he broke it down. It's like it's like Superman reading his own comic book. I was like, yo, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go. Um, yeah, to master your mind is to master your life. Man, and try it with experimenting, you know, on yourself. So, um, uh, so pretty much like he was like, all right, so say, for example, we're going throughout our day, you know, you know, when a lot of us hit that negativity on our, on our mind, we like to dwell on it for a while. You know what I'm saying? And on this book, it has it in the back of the book that, and you just jot every time you think negative throughout the day, snap out of it, write it down and then write down what helped you get away from it. As you start progressing that throughout your day, it becomes habitual and you start thinking more positive. And of course, you can't always think positive 100% of the time, you know, but it just helps that as soon as that negative negativity kicks in, you snap back out of it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't allow that negativity to bring you down or to ruin your day or possibly ruin someone else's day by your attitudes or your words and stuff like that. It also says, uh, if you have an idea, write it down. Every single idea you get, write it down. And... Um, which also is it gets it gets habitual after after a while and it says work on your mind not just in your mind work on your mind not just in your mind just remember that man um and see the thing he said it too mind hacking movement is free you know the mind hacking movement is free but look it says right here it got some Accepting the quest game. These are all like different games and challenges for yourself so we can get better. It says, what was my mind just thinking? From there, write it down, the awareness of it and the observations of it, and then go into like how to change it. All right. Another one is like squirrel. You know how people like chilling and it's like squirrel, you lose, you lose your like attention span like that. Exactly. It says for the rest of the day, try to become aware of whenever your attention is pulled away from the task at hand by either digital or human interruptions. Try to become aware of the feeling of a broken flow. When you lose your concentration, keep track of how many times um, the interpretations you notice and write it down and get a total of your score. It said one hour investment. Spend one hour cleaning out and turning off unnecessary digital distractions, including instant messaging, text messaging, notifications, alerts and time wasting Internet sites. Damn. Um, it said the concentration game. All right, I'm just going to go a little bit. It says, choose a consistent time and place to practice your concentration game. Morning is the best, but, but you know, whenever you have time. Um, decide on a consistent reward when you are finished. So reward yourself after you do it. Find a comfortable place to sit, reasonably quiet and free from distractions. Sit with your legs crossed, feet on the ground, and find yourself getting drowsy, stand up. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Have the Jedi light meditation, Jedi mind, Jedi mind, Jedi mind tricks. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's dope, brother. Yeah, and that's that's dope. But Jedi mind tricks, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Have that, have that, 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 that type of mentality when you go into your meditation or when you try to um, stop that negativity, man. You just gotta be powerful, man. Use the force. All right. 
Uh, let's see what else they got going on here. It says right here, day 10, the concentration game plus five words. So this would be day 10. <clears throat> it says, um, today play your concentration game as usual. Then complete the five imagination games in section 2.2. Write it down. All right. I'm not going to. Okay. But it says here, feel, do, have, give, and be. Feel, do, have, give, and be. Remember that, y'all. Remember that. Really good. You want to write down everything. Every time you feel something negative in your head, snap out of it, write it down. You feel like you're losing um, you're losing your temper, snap out of it, write it down. You know, I'm still guilty of a lot of stuff and I'm still working on I'm a very emotional person. I'm still working it uh, on it myself. But due to the fact that you're aware of it now and you're not just slumped away in some dirty river with your mind, you know what I'm saying? As long as you start cleaning it, you put that screen up and you wash your mind out, man. And... Um, and it is pretty much like self-stimulation. <clears throat> no one ain't going to do it for you. Like, no one's ever going to do it for you. You got to do that stuff yourself. You know, so this is a real good book. It goes it goes through the whole book. And then at the end of the book, it goes step by step on what you could do for 21 days straight to break any habit you want to break. Um, or be whatever you want to be as in sense of getting your mind right. Um, yeah, this video is a little long, but um, this book is fantastic. Um, it's a really good book to rewire your brain. It's called Mind Hacking. So let y'all look at it real quick. All right, man. Um, I'm going to just let y'all know. I don't read to escape my reality. I read to create my reality. And I believe that we all been sheep at one point or we're all still sheep now. But, but I believe that we all have the inner wolf in us. So it's time to eat. It's time to wake up, man. You know, knowledge is key and there's power and will. And don't forget that. If you like what I'm doing, like, comment, share, pass it around, man. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions about any of the books I've been posting, just, just hop in my DMs. Um... And uh, yeah, man, I love y'all. And I'm off to the next book. Peace, man. Wolf of Readers, I'm out.